In this video, we're gonna make a wood ring from this walnut burl. And then inside of it, we're gonna do a inlay of this blue opal. This is the rough opal before it's been crushed. And this is a medium and fine mix of the crushed opal. On the inside of the ring, we're gonna use this pre-cut piece of light blue epoxy. Uh, it's been scuffed on one side for a good mechanical grip to the wood. Also, inside of my wood bands, we're going to put a little stainless steel for strength. I'm going to start by cutting a 12 inch strip of the walnut burl uh, veneer, and then we're going to form it into a shape that we can use for our ring blank. I like to do this by dipping the ring in hot water and letting it dry to a new shape. An easy way to shape the veneer is just to roll it all the way around a socket, but any kind of pipe or round object will work well for this. Also, once you have the wood all the way around, give it a few rolls on the table to make sure the wind is really tight. Once it's rolled tight, I like to wrap it in masking tape to dry it. Uh, usually you can just leave it overnight or put it in an oven for about an hour at 200 degrees. To shape the core, we just wrap it around a socket and steam it for about a minute. And when we take it out, it'll take a really good circular shape. So now we have both the pieces for our ring blank. So we'll just put the core inside of the veneer and give it a couple of rolls on the table to get all the space out of the, the veneer roll. And then once we have it really tight, we can take some thick CA glue and fasten it in place. Again, we're gonna put some masking tape around the blank uh, just to hold it in place while we glue it up. Uh, it's also not a bad idea to run it onto a mandrel to make sure everything is really circular and in place. Now we're going to stabilize the ring by heavily saturating it with a thin CA. Uh, this wood is actually great at absorbing CA so it'll go all the way through the entire body of the ring. So after letting this sit for like an hour, it should be totally dry. So you can peel the masking tape off and have a look at your stabilized ring blank. This step's really important because it really hardens the ring up and now we can put it on the lathe and turn it to shape. So now we have the rough shape of the ring and we just need to add a little bit of CA before we do the inlay groove for the blue opal. This will just stop it from chipping or anything like that. I like to use a point tool to gouge the inlay and I usually just go until I'm satisfied with the width and depth for my inlay. So we have our groove done, and now we're going to put in our stainless steel core. Uh, I decided to start doing this because a lot of wood rings are susceptible to crushing, and this stainless steel core seems to have solved that problem in all of my rings. And it's just a really good quality of life upgrade that I do standard in all my bands. So 
So with the core in, we're gonna add a little thin CA. This is gonna keep it glued in there and it's also gonna stabilize the inside of the ring again. And then we're gonna add some blue enamel and start the inlay. So I apply a little bit of activator before I put my thick CA in there, just so it'll dry quicker and it'll be easier to get the opal down into the inlay. Um, when you fill up that inlay, you wanna make sure you're completely filling out the glue because you don't want any dead spots in your ring. So you'll just keep adding CA and then adding more opal and we'll do the whole inlay. The last step of the inlay is just to use thin CA to fill out any negative spots. Now we're going to flush up the face of the ring with our carbide rougher and a few different grits of sandpaper. Now we're gonna clear coat the ring, and everyone has their own way they like to do this, but in my experience, the best way is to use a thin CA for a few coats, and then go with a thicker CA, and in between each coat, use some steel wool to get a good mechanical bond. So I wanted to show you on the last coat of CA that I like to use plastic instead of paper towel. Uh, it just gives you a lot longer working time and also doesn't waste nearly as much CA. But uh, with this being the last coat, now we just gotta let this dry and we'll be able to uh, sand, buff and polish and we'll take it off the mandrel. The last step on the lathe is going to be to sand the inside. So we're going for a certain size here. Uh, so what I like to do is just put masking tape on the outside of the face to protect it. And then we'll just sand down until we get our desired size. With the inside finished, we're just going to buff the outside and the ring will be totally done. The blue opal really comes to life at every angle you look at it, and that walnut burl has a grain and color that you don't see with a lot of other woods, so I'm always glad to make one of these. Please subscribe if you can. Next week's video is going to be the Galaxy Cluster Ring, which is a black resin with crushed white opal on a tungsten band. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.